How low? How thin we're the town back? Dave, muffins in their tat. Yo, ma. Well, hello, I'm your host, Ed Rammer, and I just want to welcome you to the, the German cooking show. And today we're going to be making some muffins and a little bit of a mess. But, but don't tell my wife. She's away right now. So uh, why don't you come on down and we're going to learn how to make them. Muffins. Well, that's just about enough of that riffraff. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, lot of supplies to use here, and I would just like to mention one more thing that today's episode of German Baking is sponsored in part by the Grunthal Slow Pitch Tournament, 1991. Now, for you, for those of you that weren't there, it was uh, quite a quite a good occasion with uh, Reverend Joel Weeb taking home a trophy for uh, poorest effort. Now today, uh, back to the bakings, you see my wife is away, and that means I get to bake whatever I want. So I, I took a little dive into the old cookbook here, and we got some recipes by, oh let's see, Tante Marta, Tante Edna, and of course, Tante Tina. Now, if you know me, uh, I'm a little bit sick of eating all the pluma mousse and all the traditional foods. So today, I thought we would do something a little bit different. We're actually going to be making some... Oh, this is almost sinful that we're making this. <laughs> oh man! We're making das Coco oatmeal muffins. And so you can see the uh, uh, Tante Tina <clears throat> has left quite a good recipe here. You know, really, all of Tante Tina's recipes are great. The last time we were down at Tante Tina's place, she made that uh, such good dessert. I mean, you stop there for FASPA, you end up staying there, mainly because you have to use the bathroom, but you just stay there because you know there's going to be more and more food. So that's kind of my plan. We're, we're not going to be visiting the bathroom with this. It's a pretty healthy, as far as cocoa muffins goes. Mix together, then add to dry ingredients. Fill muffin tins. Oh, we got those. Those are here. Das, yeah. Fill muffin tins till two, two thirds full. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Mix one dozen. Shoot, how many muffin tins did I put? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, devil. Too many. Well, maybe we'll make them a little bit smaller. Because then I'd have to put these away. So, as you can see, I've put all the ingredients here. And today we're using kosher salt. Now, Ad Reimer doesn't discriminate, so today we're using kosher salt, so if you want to comment on my kosher salts or any other salts, bath salts, whatever, you just comment on the, on the down there, uh, you know, that little space where you type in. Anyway, let's see how this works Now, out. of course, you got to start off with the right ingredients, and now I've got all those straightened out here, and I've got my KitchenAid mixer. We got us a wedding present from some very good friends from the, from the Steinbeck Gruntal area. Now that's, maybe you didn't know this, but this is where Ed Reimer is from. Ed Reimer and his wife, Chelsea, who, who didn't take the name Reimer, or Holmes, um, our friends are from out there. So I'm trying best to represent them and the joy that they gave us. <laughs> and they gave us food. The, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to be mixing the dry ingredients first to make these cocoa mu oatmeal muffins. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump all the dry ingredients in here. We got the flour, one and a quarter cups flour. Let's dump that in there. Oh, deal. That's done. We don't want to put the milk in yet. That's milk. I just got it from out from the the barn. The, the cow just put that out. Now we got some sugar. That's dry too. You know, it's not very wet. Let's put that in there. My hands shake a lot, I apologize. Now, it calls for rolled oats. Now, I guess that's the same as my horse eats, so I got some feed from the barn. Put that in there too. What's next on our dry ingredients? Anyway, rather than wasting all your time, I'm just going to go ahead and dump the dry okay, ingredients. Okay, so now we've got all the dry ingredients. Maybe, can you even see that? Oh yeah, that's good enough. So we're going to put the old kitchen maid to the test. Let's uh, let her buck. Now while that's spinning around, just like the tires on my 1986 Camaro, 
we're gonna just uh, get the, the, the not so dry ingredients ready. Now, we got the eggs, we got the milk, Ooh, we got my coffee. Oh, yum! And the canola oil. Now, it said one cup oil. Now, I'm assuming they didn't mean to put in the motor oil. So, I'm using canola oil instead. So, let's put in the milk. You know what? Tonta Tina would be proud taking her recipe like this. The milk is going in. Milk is in. How about the eggs? It says beat them. Let's beat them. Take that, eggs. Take that. Devil! Oh, Yoma. What are the neighbors going to think when they hear me deviling it up here? One, two, three. Huh. Oh, man. What do we got next? How much oil do we put in here? It says one third cup oil. Well, while you uh, watch that, I'm going to... I'm gonna put the oil in. Okay, well I put in a little bit of vanilla. Now that was in the ingredients too. I put in another extra little drop because I like vanilla. No, never drink this stuff. The second ingredient here is propylene glycol. If you drink all this container here, you might not, let's just say you might have something to confess. Anyway, that's done. Back here at the baking place, We've got all the ingredients in here now. Let's speed things up. Are we gonna give her? Oh, Devil, we have it. Oh, man. Oh, that's gout. Let's let that go for a little longer. So now we have all the dry ingredients. Flour, sugar, rolled oats, cocoa, baking powder, salt, salt. Yeah, I got the salt. Mixed together, it says. We did, we're doing that. Two eggs, one cup milk, oil, and the vanilla. Next together, yeah, yeah. Fill muffin tins, two thirds full. All right, well, I'm just gonna make sure this is all mixed up. Then I'm very carefully gonna put it into the little muffin tins. I don't, not really tins so much as bits of metal with paper in them. Kind of like paper. Well, they're all ready, ready to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now maybe Tonta Tina got her numbers backwards because she says makes one dozen. Well, Donna, I've got 21 here. Now I did some math and uh, when you switch the numbers 12 and 21 around, huh, like so, you get what I have here and that's too many muffins. Oh man. Well, I guess I'd better throw some out because Tina says this is only going to make 12. Okay. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm still Mennonite. We're going to keep these anyway. And I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. That's, that's Fahrenheit. Now, let's see if it's warm enough. Oh, shit. No, that's not. It's warm, but it's not warm enough. That's maybe 285 degrees. So let's see what we can do. Let's, uh, let's play a little bit of the waiting game. Now, the waiting game isn't normally much fun. But uh, we're going to play it for a little bit. <clears throat> okay, well, the oven is ready now. It's at 400 degrees, don't forget. None of this uh, 425 business. That's just going to make them burn. Let's put them in now. Man, Edna's going to be so happy. Man, that's hot. Now, the trick is, you really got to keep an eye on them. I, I do that with my eyes. You put the light on in there, and in case they catch fire, you can take them out. Now, Tom Tatina says 20 minutes is good. So let's see what happens. Well, that's the first batch that is done. Let's pull them out here and see. Push. That's hot. Oh, yeah. As you can see, they're quite inflated. 
They seem to be quite solid too. Let's put the next ones in so they can finish too. Here we go. Oh, yum! Well, they look pretty good to me. Except for these burnt pieces. Maybe I should have been more careful. Oh, man. Well, they really didn't turn out too badly at all. As you can see where I removed them from the little wrapper paper pieces, not a whole lot stuck behind, which is a sign of a good muffin. If they stick too much to here, that's just garbage. So I put a little bit of butter on them here, and I'm going to taste and let you know if they're worth making. They're a little crumbly. Maybe I would, maybe I would put another like half an egg in here. Maybe use the biggest eggs you can get. Let's see. I'll let you know. There's a little bit of crunch on the outside. They're they're quite sweet, probably because there's a cup of sugar in there. They're not too dry. These get the thumbs up Ed Rammer approval. Now this recipe is found in the recipe book from the Elam Mennonite Church, Grand Manitoba. Not sure if I marked a page. Oh, down. I don't know where the page is. It's near page 71 because that's where, oh, it's the dirty pages. Page 72, bottom recipe. You'll find the real name on there, but I don't feel like advertising for them. So today it's by Tante Tina. This concludes cooking and baking and looking very nice with Ed Raymer. Thank you for watching. This episode of uh, Ed's Country Mennonite Devil Kitchen is brought to you by Gruntal Auction Mart for all your Mart auction needs. The new buffalo at Grunthal Corner. Tante Tina, of course. Obramville, out of respect. And Canadian Tire.